Hey everybody, it's Nick from The Lobby, and if you're anything like me, you drink a lot of coffee. I'm always trying to find new ways to make my coffee different, and one of my favorite ways to do that is to do infused coffee. So basically, I'm gonna brew coffee my normal way, and then I'm gonna add additional ingredients to kind of give it some more depth of flavor. So today, I'm gonna be brewing our new Christmas blend coffee. If you haven't tried it yet, it is a Honduran Sumatran blend of dark roast coffee with sweet cedar notes and molasses. And I think it's gonna pair really well with some roasted chestnuts. So to start, I'm going to add my 47 grams of Lobby Christmas blend coarse grounds. And to that, I'm gonna add about 680 grams of water, somewhere in the neighborhood of 205. And I like to weigh my coffee. Uh, mainly because dark roast and light roast um, have different densities. So if you're using a measuring scoop, it's very inconsistent. But if you don't have a scale on hand, you could go ahead and just use about three cups of water and probably about a half cup of, of ground coffee. All right, so to this, I'm gonna add the uh, roasted chestnuts. And I'm gonna set the top on. And I'm not gonna press it uh, quite yet until it's brewed for five minutes. All right, so once your coffee has brewed for about five minutes, I'm getting ready to press. And you wanna press nice and slow. That way the coffee grounds don't sneak out. Now, if you're having trouble deciding what ingredients to use to infuse, uh, check out the tasting notes that are on the coffee bag. So. In another instance with the Christmas blends, I would go ahead and use maybe chocolate or cinnamon or vanilla or butterscotch or even clove would all pair pretty nicely. All right, let's give this a taste. Okay, so I taste the sweet cedar, I taste molasses. It's really chocolatey and syrupy and that roasted chestnut adds this like toasted nuttiness, kind of like a hazelnut or maybe even Nutella. It's really good. So it's super easy to make infused coffee at your house. And if you're ever having trouble coming up with ideas for ingredients, just remember, just look at the tasting notes on the bag. So with our Lobby Christmas blends, chocolate, cinnamon, butterscotch, molasses, or clove would be really good. And also I wanna let everyone know that dining in is still open at the Lobby and we got brand new patio heaters, so it's really comfortable outside. Thank you guys for watching and until next time, cheers.